Hello, and welcome to Sotom Brain Hub. My name's Charlotte, and I'm going to take you through this rapid review of meningitis. So first we need to talk about the meninges. These are the three membrane layers that surround the brain and spinal cord. There's the outer dura mater, the arachnoid mater, and the inner pia mater. Together with the cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF, they serve to protect the brain and spinal cord. The two inner layers, the arachnoid and pia mater, are collectively known as the leptomeninges. This anatomy is what is directly implicated in meningitis, which is inflammation of the leptomeninges, so the pia mater, the arachnoid mater and the cerebrospinal fluid between them. It's important to note that the dura mater is not involved in meningitis. Now we're going to take a look at this coronal section through the meninges. Note the position of the cerebral vessels and the superior sagittal venous sinus, and also the white matter, the bone of the scalp, and the cerebral cortex. Here you can see the outer dura mater, which itself is formed of two layers and sits beneath the bone of the scalp. The arachnoid mater, which is the middle layer and the first layer of the leptomeninges, and the inner pia mater, the second layer of the leptomeninges, which is closely related to the cerebral cortex. As I said before, between the arachnoid mater and the pia mater is the subarachnoid space, which is filled with CSF. So, what causes meningitis? It's usually caused by a viral or bacterial infection. Viral meningitis is the most common, but the least serious type. Bacterial meningitis is rarer, but can be serious if not treated. There are two main causes of bacterial meningitis that you should be aware of. Firstly, meningococcal meningitis, the most common cause of bacterial meningitis in the UK. This is caused by Neisseria meningitidis, of which there are several types. Another important cause is pneumococcal meningitis, which is caused by strep pneumoniae, which you may know can also be a cause of pneumonia and septicemia. The most common cause of viral meningitis is the herpes simplex virus, which you may know is also a cause of cold sores and genital herpes. There are lots of other less common organisms which can cause meningitis, and this includes the mumps virus and Haemophilus influenzae type B. When meningitis is suspected, it's important to perform a lumbar puncture to take a sample of the cerebrospinal fluid from the subarachnoid space. Normal CSF is clear and colourless. However, in meningitis, the CSF may be milky looking due to the elevated white blood cells, particularly neutrophils, and it may also contain the causative organism, whether that be bacterial, viral or other. So what are the signs and symptoms of meningitis? It can affect multiple body systems and symptoms include photophobia, nausea and vomiting, a non-blanching rash, muscular fatigue and pain, sensitivity to sound, headache and altered mental state, fever, seizures, neck stiffness and lethargy. So that was our rapid review of meningitis. Thanks for watching. Find us on Facebook, Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help explain the mysteries of the brain.